All right, so now we're up to the arm parts of the Lego man, the Lego minifigure. Um, and congratulations, you've come this far. Um, we are on the home stretch now. We've done really well, probably around two hours worth of film time. Uh, so let's finish this off. All right, we'll change the orientation to the right side. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a, an extrusion from this point so that we don't have to uh, create the object completely next to the uh, body, the torso. So we're just going to create a concentric circle and middle click out of that. And we're going to now go select OK. And the length of the extrusion will make 20 millimeters and click enter on that and let's just press OK left click on OK alright so this will be our new face that we'll be working off and what we can do is we can actually create a new datum plane to work off um, and we'll attach it to this face here so if you just select plane up in this top left corner we'll left click on that and it will tell you to choose a surface or a line to attach it to so let's attach it to this face here. So left click on that and left click OK. Alright, so there's our datum that we'll be working from now. Alright, so when we will use the extrude feature now, so left click on extrude, left click just on this face here maybe cancel out in case you haven't selected the face properly but just select that face there and left click on extrude alright so we will now go into creating the arm so we'll choose the concentric circle uh, tool and we'll just choose the outskirts of this circle here and we're going to make the circle slightly larger than the current circle so middle click out of that now we'll change these dimensions to 5.3 millimeters. Enter. Now that's our current circle that we'll be dealing with. All right, back to the right side view. Uh, zoom in. All right, so this is the reference point for our entire arm. Now, the, the angles will be the difficult part, essentially. But as long as we just keep the lines all parallel and everything, it should be okay. So, left click on the line tool. And we're going to go to the extremity of this line. So, it doesn't really matter where you place the line, as long as the other line that we'll place is going to be parallel to it. So left click anywhere, we'll go there so we can create a good angle. And I'll just release it around here and middle click out and middle click out again and now let's change the dimensions of this line we're going to want to use the dimension tool to figure out what the dimensions are now it's 9.35 millimeters that's the dimension uh, we want ours to be 7.4 millimeters enter all right so that's our first line and the next line we'll make will actually be down here and we want this to be on a right angle to this line here and if we can we might have to use the rectangle tool instead so using the corner rectangle 